Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, we are going to embark on a new topic, which is digital modulation. Our topic for discussion is to distinguish what is bit rate, symbol rate, and data rate. To many, I believe these are all a breeze, okay, which means that it's very easy for you to understand. However, I realized that my student has difficulties to distinguish these three items. So therefore, I want to do this video to let them aware what is the key difference between these three items. So this is my email. If you have any question, please send me an email. So bit rate is normally associated with information transfer rate. Okay, which means that how much information I can transfer at a specific time. So this is a simple definition of bit rate. So typically, a digital signal is represented by 0 and 1. As you can see from here, this diagram here, a digital data can be either 1 or 0 in short. So the definition of bit rate is mentioned here. So bit rate is the numbers of bits that are sent per unit of time from the source to the destination. So this is the definition of bit rate. So for example here, okay, so if 12 bits of information are sent every second, okay, which means that every second I can send 12 bits of data. So I actually can quantify my bit rate as 12 bits per second, which also called 12 bits per second. In this case here, this BPS stands for bits per second. So this thing means that every one second, 12 bit of data can be sent. So the unit to measure the bit rate is bits per second or bits over second. So this is the definition of bit rate. So let's understand what is symbol rate. Okay, so symbol rate is the number of symbol change, waveform change or signaling event. Okay, so I highlight this signaling event. Okay, for example here, okay, so if a message, okay, you need four bits to become a message. So if you, do, if you only receive one bit, okay, so this one bit is not relevant to you. If you also receive just two bits or three bits, again, this message is irrelevant to you. What you need for this message is you need to receive four bits of data. So after receiving the four bits of data, this become a message. You understand what is the message. So this message can be a signaling event. Okay, for example, they can let you know some certain event that actually occur. So therefore, I put this signaling event in green. So this is the keywords. Okay, so across the transmission medium per time, using a digital modulated signal or a line code. Okay, you probably find, find that I just read on this, but if you Google, okay, this is how everybody are trying to explain on symbol rate. Okay, so this is my personal explanation. So for example, for this case here, if one bit is equals to one symbol, then the symbol rate will be exactly the same as the bit rate. So it makes sense, right? So one bit is equals to one symbol. So whatever bit rate is equals to whatever symbol rate. So this is what this line want to mention here. So in blue here, okay, it actually mentioned if two bits mix into one symbol, okay, then the symbol rate will be half of the bit rate. Okay, so now you understand. So now it's every one symbol, it actually consists of two bits. So with this, the symbol rate probably is only just half of the bit rate. So don't worry about this. If you can't really get what I want to say over here, okay, I will mention it on the next slides here. Okay, but this is what you mentioned here. So the symbol rate is actually the bit rate plus how many bits to represent a symbol. For this case here is two. So therefore, bit rate divided by two will be equal to the symbol rate. Okay, so the SI unit for symbol is symbol per second over here. So this is symbol rate. Next, okay, I'm going to compare a very simple example to let you understand what is bit rate versus the symbol rate. Okay, for example, in one second here, these are the information that I can send. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So every one second, I can send 12 bits of data. 
which means that my bit rate is 12 bits per second. So now, as I told you here, for example, one symbol is consists of four bits. So I can regroup this. Okay, so every four bit, this is one symbol. This is second symbol. And this is third symbol. And from here, I conclude that I can have three symbol per second. Correct? So this example also illustrates that for this case here, 12 bits per second is equals to three symbol per second. So you can see from here, this is 12 bit per second, which is also equal to three symbol per second. So this is to let you distinguish what is bit rate, what is symbol rate from this example here. The same set of data, I can describe them as bit rate, and also I can also describe them as symbol rate. The key difference is basically, you can see this number here. So what actually happened is basically, this is a 12 bits. And remember I told you that, how many bits meet into symbol? So 12 divided by four, and therefore I got this three symbol per second here. Okay, so next, let me understand with you, what is data rate? So for example, for this case here, I have this router. So basically for this case here, data rate is exactly same with bit rate, which is 12 bit per second. Okay, but what if I have another two more channel and now, the data rate of my device, okay, let's assume that each individual channel, I can receive 12 bits per second. So now the total data rate of this device is 12 multiplied by three, which is equal to 36 bits per second, correct? So this is actually quantified the total data rate of this device. And this bit rate quantified that one particular channel, there are only 12 bits per second. So with this, I'd like to end my video. Okay, please like and subscribe. Thank you.